Okay, hey everybody, uh, Andrew Spurgeon here. Um, I have previously made a posting about using a uh, foam cutting wand. Um, the postings are online. Uh, and that will just uh, cut in a 2D, sort of, sorry, in a Z axis, so up and down just like a CNC milling operation. Uh, but I thought, well, actually I'd like to cut nice wide pieces. So I'm just experimenting here. I've got a piece of wood with a couple of brackets and some nichrome wire. Um, and then there was some basic substitution of some G-code from X to Y and Y to Z and all that sort of stuff. I can't remember exactly what I did, but I'll, I'll put that in the posting. Um, and um, I'm just going to try and cut an aeroplane wing. So um, there's a few adjustments I've needed to make. Um, the nichrome wire obviously gets hot and then expands, so just some ability to stretch it. Um, with a little bit of jiggery pokery on the end there, just so it's nice and taut. Um, and ideally, I would move the um, move the uh, the z-axis plate up a little bit, uh, so I can uh, have a little bit more room. But let's just kick it off, um, and let's go begin. Zero the position, and just see what happens. Now, one of the things I've found is that um, it's important with your cam software to be able to tell the cam software where the starting position is going to be and I'm using ArtCam uh, which is for the price is superb um, and with that I can easily just tell it that I want the start point to be a specific node in the vector uh, which I told it to be at the front. Uh, the other thing is important to cut the bottom first because if you cut the top um, then it will drop so um, just a lesson learned so it's just quickly going through that now. Smells good, I can tell you. Um, the travel is about 450, I think it's 450. It seems to cut quite well for the piece of night chrome that I have and the temperature that it runs at. Not that I actually want to make an aeroplane, but I thought an aeroplane wing or airfoil would be quite useful. Okay, so it's finished. And whoops. It basically just fell out. So there it is. I now have a nice styrofoam, polystyrene, whatever language you want to want, use um, airfoil. And uh, say hi, Jonathan. Hello. Uh, and there is um, there's another one I made earlier just to make sure it worked before I put it on video. So there we go. I can do um, foam cutting uh, in a couple of different ways now. Um, I should probably actually do some milling, but I'm um, having fun cutting polystyrene and foam. Thanks, guys. I'll put some postings online with this video.